All right, guys, welcome back. We have another video here. This one is from the 2022 Pan American Championships in Florida. So I know this guy's in a pull guard, so I don't want to let him get a good guard right from the start. So I try to defend the grips. But when I try to set up my over under pass, he does a good job at recovering guard. He gets a nice cross collar grip. And that left grip on my left knee tells me that he's trying to take me to single leg X on the other side. So I'm trying to stay heavy over here because I know he's trying to push and pull and try to take me to the right. And he does a good job here. He frees his left leg over and he tries to bring it up to my hip. Now here I'm trying to work my way back to my right. He does a good job at forcing me to my left. He kicks me forward, comes up, does the sit-up sweep from X guard. I'm trying to keep my right leg as heavy as possible. So I'm sprawling, 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 sprawling. He ends up grabbing the single leg. Luckily, we're like on the yellow line already, so we get a nice reset. That was that was honestly kind of lucky on my part. He was in good takedown positions. I feel good defending the takedown, honestly, but it worked out for me that we were out of bounds. So I know he's trying to pull guard here, so I'm trying to time it. Right when he pulls, I'm going to try to take him down, try to steal the two points. Boom, I go for it. He realizes it, so he stands back up, and now I know he's trying to pull. I know he's going to pull, so I want to... Get my grips right when he pulls and start passing right away. So I'm trying to time it here. I know he's in a pull. I know he's a guard player. Boom, he sits and I get my cross grip. So I get my right hand on his on his lapel and my left hand on his outside of his knee like a Toriando grip. So I'm getting the reset here. This is my one of my favorite grips. These are, This is like my favorite grip setup to pass guard. So I wanna make sure I get those grips nice and tight before the reset. Right away, I'm gonna go X pass as hard as I can. I already know, this is like my favorite passing position. I shove through, I block his hips, I go north-south. I try to keep him down to get my pass points. He does a good job at turtling. Right away, I get my right hand collar grip. You see that right hand collar grip? That's what secures his choke. I roll over, I dive my head through, and I get the bow and arrow choke on the other side. So if we look at it one more time, guys, as we go right when he turtles, you can see my right hand feeds for that collar right away. Boom, right hand on the collar, tighten it up with my left hand, throw my left leg over, underhook his leg with my left leg, and I have a tight bow and arrow on the other side. Oh, that was that was uh, one of my favorite chokes. I drilled that one a lot, and it catches a lot of people slipping, so it was cool to finally hit this in tournament. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you would like, you can like, share, and subscribe. I'm posting a lot of my old matches, a lot of uh, newer matches, just Matches with cool finishes, basically, and, and entertaining matches. I'll post those on here, and I'll do a little breakdown on them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.